So this is a this is a twelve foot broom, <laughs> and twelve feet. It's twelve feet tall. Okay. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, so there's going to be a meaning behind the size, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, but I'll let you. I'll let you tell the story here. So, like I said before, uh, I wanted to show these because I think that the the forms and the objects I was choosing early on, I just keep recycling them mm -hmm. in my work. And <clears throat> the broom, the broom I used a lot because it's it's home, it's domestic, it's cleaning. I had another aspect to this piece I wanted to add. It was a it was a full room installation and I wanted to make these little resin balls and put things inside of them to cover the floor. Mm -hmm. So you not only, you know, monumentalize the broom, but also what is it? What are those little things in life that you're constantly trying to tidy up? Mm, interesting. Yeah, cleaning up the the uh I don't know what I'm trying to say and think. It's like the 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 little problems in life that are just kind of. That's where I'm going with it. But also daily your daily habits yeah. as as a mom or anybody who owns a house or has to mm -hmm. maintain a residence. Mm -hmm. I I think the the domestic quality of the broom was really interesting to me, and then the pieces that make it up, you know, I, I actually went out to where I grew up and collected all those Interesting. strands and weave them together. So thinking about yeah. the material, how it's made, what it's made of, all of that can, can go into a big connection to, to a certain period of your life. Yeah. So when you look at it, does it make you think of that same era of your life? Yes. Just like that's what music does for me. Definitely. It can take me back to a memory every time it's consistent to that memory or it's consistent to that moment of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I know personally when I look at that in, in, in terms of, you know, domestic, you know, the literal use of a broom, um, washing dishes or sweeping the kitchen floor or some form of cleaning in a way is therapeutic for me. It is because, it, and as much as I disagree, and I feel like I defy this law, you can only have one thought at a time. <laughs> I feel like I defy that. I defy science. I swear I do. <laughs> but when I'm washing the dishes and I'm just focusing on the repetition of it, and it's just like wash, rinse, rack, repeat. You know, it's uh, just calms my brain down a little bit. You my know? my friends tell me that. They can always tell when when Angie's angry because she starts incessantly cleaning everything, <laughs> scrubbing the tub, and you know. But yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm not an overly neat freak, but I definitely like everything having its place mm -hmm. and everything in its place to a degree. 